Of course, President Biden arrived in Brussels, and that was this morning, for his first in-person NATO summit since he took office. So it comes just days before his one-on-one -on -one with Russian President Vladimir Putin. Britt Conway has a look ahead at what we can expect from both of those meetings. Uh, today, we've had a national tragedy. September 11th, 2001. Two airplanes have crashed into the World Trade Center. September 12th, 2001. NATO invoked Article 5 for the first time in its history. An armed attack against one shall be considered an attack against them all. We believe NATO and Section 5 is a sacred obligation. President Joe Biden is in Brussels today with plans to reaffirm that commitment during the NATO summit, which brings together the leaders of all 30 allied nations. The White House laid out key summit expectations with a focus on issues like NATO itself, its framework, financing and strength of partnerships, cybersecurity and climate change. Military withdrawal from Afghanistan will also be discussed, along with strategy in regard to China and Russia, which will be front and center in Geneva Wednesday, where preps are underway for Biden's meeting with Russian President Vladimir Putin. We are looking to resolve those actions which we think are inconsistent with international norms. I think he's going to meet a very different president than one who was at the mercy of Putin. If Russia chooses to continue reckless and aggressive actions, we will respond forcefully. Both summits give Biden unique opportunities to strengthen global partnerships and reassert American leadership on the world stage. I'm Britt Conway reporting.